So a very quick one here because it's just a cute little formula here, the area of a triangle. Now you already have a formula for the area of a triangle. Area equals half of the base times the height. This is a great formula, half of the base times the height. There is a small issue with it though. Sometimes it's difficult when it comes to triangles to measure this. You can imagine if you had like a triangular box, measuring that length might prove difficult. So we have a different formula. This one right here, half B C sine A. And we use the same way that we've been labeling triangles for the sine and the cosine rule. Labeled. Now, you know I wouldn't feel right about just showing you a formula going, there's the formula. We've got to show that that formula is true. So our proof is going to be relatively straightforward. We're going to start with the fact that we know this. I'm not going to prove to you that that's true. I could do, but I'm sure a teacher showed you at summary point why the area of a triangle was half of base times height. Okay, so we take that to be true. You can see that they look very similar, right? And I've labelled my triangle strategically so that the base lines up with the thing that I'm calling B. It's this H, right? The, the difference in these formulas is the H. H is equal to C sine A. C sine A. This is an angle here. This is a length C here. I feel like this is going to be very simple, right? Because we can say that sine A is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, H over C. And then we can say that H is equal to C sine A. All right, so if the area of a triangle is equal to half of base times height, and height is equal to C sine A, we can sub this into our original area of a triangle formula and say that the area of a triangle is equal to half of B and what used to be H, we can now sub in C sine A. So proven Q, E, D, we're happy. The area of a triangle is half B, C sine A. It's really just this formula in disguise. Okay, let's get rid of the proof and we'll just do it once. Okay, we're ready to rock, done. Something I should mention before we kick off, this formula relies on the same angle side setup as the cosine rule. Two sides and an included angle, right? Two sides, uh, B and C are my two sides here, and the included angle A. If you don't have two sides and an included angle, you've got to do some mucking around to find two sides and an included angle so that you can then do it. You might need to find an extra side, you might need to find another extra angle, something like that. All right, but as it stands, this one, super straightforward. The area is equal to half of B, 7, C, 5, sine, 50 degrees. Half of 7 times 5 times sine 50. 13.41, and if I put some units on here, meters and meters, I can make it area meters squared. Okay, 13.41. Now, I don't know if that's the answer. I just made this up out of my head. So let me, like, double check that that's about right. I could do that by just sort of guesstimating the height. I could say, okay, well, I don't know the height, but if that's 7 and that's 5, that length must be less than 5. So, I don't know, imagine it was 4. Right, that feels reasonable. It's not four, but like if it was four, we could then use this formula. Half of the base, which is seven, times the guesstimate, which is four-ish. So half times seven times four, seven times four is 28. Half of that is 14. Okay, I got an answer of 13.41. My guesstimate is 14. That feels right, I like that. You should get in the habit of doing those sort of guesstimations to double check your work. Okay, that's it. We've proven that that is a real formula and it works. And then we've just done one very quick example because I think you're a clever cookie and you can get it done.